33 top story. Good evening and thank you for choosing NBC 33 Nightbeat. I'm Angela Holdsworth. Today, about a dozen members of Students for Sensible Drug Policy came to the Summit City to criticize Souter for a policy they say unfairly targets working class college students. NBC 33's Francis Coe reports. Trying to turn their lives around and get accepted into college and go to school. It was a war of words today at the campus of St. Francis. College students traveled hundreds of miles to confront Representative Souter as he was scheduled to speak at a workshop about paying for college. Ironically, that was the center of the confrontation today. That's administration position. That's the working group. Souter penned a 1998 amendment, which makes it so that college students with drug convictions can't get loans. Protesters today said students who have drug convictions should not be penalized for trying to turn their lives around for the better. If you get convicted of a crime, your best way of becoming a productive member of society is to get a college education, which a lot of people can't do without financial aid. The Higher Education Act was created in 1968 to help working class students overcome economic obstacles to their education. And Souter's critics say that his amendment violates the spirit of that law. Souter says the law was originally designed to penalize college students who are receiving financial aid at the time of their drug offense, not those with past records. Meanwhile, protesters today say they will continue their campaign until the law is changed. Francis Coe, NBC 33 News. Souter says the law was misinterpreted by the Clinton administration and the U.S. Department of Education. He says he is working to amend the law so that it applies only to students who are convicted of drug offenses while they receive financial aid.